Two people were killed in the home behind me overnight. Neighbors described them as salt to the earth. Sadly, this is one of several scenes in a string of shootings that left five people dead and three injured. Just after midnight, Corsicana police responded to this home after they received a call that a known suspect killed his family. It's just traumatizing to hear about. When police arrived, they found the suspect's mom and stepfather dead. Two others were also shot and taken by helicopter to a Dallas area hospital. Nothing like that ever has happened, like by our house ever. Ethan Lusk lives down the block. There was a cop car right in front of our driveway, and that's what made me think, like, what happened to my house? I mean, but when I came home, it wasn't our house. It was two houses down. Around the same time, the Navarro County Sheriff's Office responded to a scene 20 minutes away in Frost, Texas. Police believe that same suspect killed his 21-year-old son and a 4-year-old child near this intersection. An adult woman was shot but survived. She was also transported to the hospital. I seen the, you know, the emergency lights and I walk out around the corner. I see the cops standing out here with their full SWAT gear, and, you know, flank jacket, AR-15s and whatnot. Police have not provided an update on the condition of the people who were hurt. Seven people shot in total. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy to hear about. After killing his mom, stepfather, his son, and a child, and injuring three others, police stopped the suspect in a car on Farm to Market 1129. As they approached the vehicle, the suspect shot and killed himself. That marked the end of this shooting spree across Navarro County. You don't expect it from a small town like this. In Corsicana, I'm Alex Rosier.